Um, I had a lot of breakouts. I tried out some of the face moisturizer and I think I'm allergic to something that's in there. It broke me out. So I was keeping my face clear of makeup for a few days. I actually tried two new products at the same time within two days and I broke out pretty bad. So I'm keeping makeup free off the face for right now. And I have been running around doing stuff all day long. So I'm in the process of having dinner in the oven. So I had a little bit of time. So I wanted to go ahead and film some stuff. So I'm a hot mess, but this is about the only time that I can actually sit down and film this stuff. So right now I have my Tom Box, my Ipsy, and my Boxy Charm all for September. Yes. So we're gonna jump in. We're gonna do Ipsy first. Um came in the pink bubble mailer. Uh it's Faith Fashion. I just throw the card away. I don't really care. I do kind of like that bag. When I saw it online, because I, I go to my glam room, I didn't like how it looked, but it's got like this bronzy gold to it. It's like a fake leather on the back, and it's got some texture on front. I, I do like it. And it's actually, um, well, it's a little bit longer than normal. I know some of the other Ipsy bags, the ones that are taller, it's, but even against one that's longer, it's um, still got a little bit more length on it. So I kind of like this bag. Actually, I like it a lot. So let's dig in. First thing I have is the Ipsy Mix palette. Um, I do like this. Got a little uh, foam applicator. I do like this. This is an Ipsy exclusive. Um, I don't like that they put a black in here. I wish it would have been like a dark brown because they have this light champagne color that's so got a little bit of like shimmer to it. And then they have this pretty like bronzy brown color. And I wish they would have done like a dark brown instead of black because I feel like so many palettes have black in them. And I just don't use the black eyeshadow as much. Like I have so many black eyeshadows that I'm never going to get through. And it would have been nice to have a dark brown because to be honest, I'm probably going to wear a dark brown shadow when I wear this palette. So, but here, I'll swatch them for you. They're nice shadows. They're actually very nice shadows. I do like them. And the black isn't like crazy pigmented. Let me get this. The champagne color is very, very light. I'm going to swatch this out for you guys. My lighting is terrible. Like the sun's kind of going down. There we go. The champagne is at the top. It's a little hard to see. You can get a kind of a glimpse of it. And we got the bronzy color, and then we got like this black. And I mean, the black's decent. I have to go over it a couple times to get it that pigmented, but it's good. They're good quality shadows. Next thing I have is Not So Radio, the Phoenix When You Need to Rise from the Ashes Yet Again. This is called Permacin and Plum. Revive, um, revitalizing Hand and Body Lotion. Um, that's it right there, and it says, resign your glass, resign to your glass always being half empty, spirits as deflated as the float, the other, the day after Thanksgiving Day Parade, there are some, here's some reinforcements to help you rise when you came in, apparently I can't read today, <laughs> I'm kind of rushed, that's what it is, and it smells really good, it smells like a hint of rose, <coughs> peaches, and plums, and I do really like the way it smells. It feels very hydrating. So I do like this. It's a little size. It's 1.24 ounces. So it'll probably go in my car or my purse or something. It smells really good. And then when you rub it in, you get like more of a peachy plum smell. And the flower smell dissipates. But I really like it. It reminds me of um, this box set my grandma had in the spare bedroom for years when I was a kid. And it was like peach scented. And it smells just like the stuff that was in there. So it, I like that it brings back memories. And then this is the First Aid Beauty Ultra Repair Cream Intense Hydration to, for Dry Parched Skin. It says you can use it on your face and your, you know, your body from head to toe. Um, I try it on my face. If you are oily, I don't recommend it on your face because it does leave your skin like dewy and kind of like, I want to say greasy, but not greasy. It's borderline. So if you already have like some oily skin, don't put it on your face. But it is very hydrating and I do like this a lot. It has kind of like a, like a medicinal smell. 
smell to it, kind of like an herbaly, yeah, like an herbaly menthol medicinal smell to it. But it is very, very moisturizing. I do like this. I put it on my face because I get very dry. And then I got a Sephora Formula X, a little mini polish, which I'm ecstatic about. It's this little one. It's a very pretty red color, and I have swatched it. What was the name of it? Ignite is the color. Let me see if I can find. I had a color wheel with the color on there, and I can't. Oh, hang on. It dropped. Okay. So, it's this color right here. So it is, it's this one coat. It is not very sheer. I know it kind of looks like it on there. It's this one right here. It's not very sheer, but it is a pretty, it's coming off brighter on camera than what it really is. It's a deeper red. But it's gorgeous. I do like it very much. And then last but not least, um, I got this brand a couple months ago, the Trace Deke. It was like, because remember I thought this was the tip of it and I thought the cap had come off. I had gotten an eye cram from them. This is now the Mini Matte Lip Cram in Nantucket Nude. It's just a little lip cram. Let's see how much. Pretty decent. That's how much product comes in it. That'll last me a little while. I might actually be able to finish this one off. But it's just like, I have a bunch of new lipsticks like this. It's matte. It's very pretty. I will definitely use it. At first, I thought it was another eyeshadow stick in a nude color. And I'm like, man, I just got one of these in a nude color. But it's not. It is lip. So, I'm very pleased with that. Put that away. And then next we're going to do BoxyCharm. So, we got the BoxyCharm. And it's Runway Ready by BoxyCharm. You're cordially invited to attend a very intimate showing of our BoxyCharm Runway Ready September 2015 collection. Please join us this month and enter for a chance to win an exclusive BoxyCharm worth of $250. And it tells you how to do it, and it's like a little ticket. It looks like a little ticket. It has your little seat number section in row one. And it has all the information on the back. So I'll read this as we go. First thing we have is nail wraps. Um, they have like a... <laughs> it looked like they were just white. They do have like a design on them, on the white part. I don't know if I can get that design to show. It's got like little ones. You can kind of see it on this one. It's got like little lines crossing and little dots and stuff. <laughs> My camera is not that great. And then it's got like the bronzy gold. Um, and then like right in here where it looks clear, it is clear. So you'll put that like and it'll make like that half moon effect or whatever. I'm not a fan of these. Um, you can get nail wraps. And it comes with a beautiful picture. You can get nail wraps for a dollar, like SE ones and whatnot, at Dollar Tree all the time. They carry them off and on all the time, especially around the holidays. Nail wraps don't last on me very long, no matter how you do them. And they say that these are worth, because I've seen um, Scratch is a monthly subscription box, too. And, oh, there goes the nail file. I'll get it later. This package is open, so everything's falling out now that I took it out. Um, it's a monthly subscription box. It's $10 and you get like one of these and then like some little like nail thing. So you're paying like $10 for this and like rhinestones or something little. I've seen people open those boxes. It's ridiculous. You can get these so cheap and there's no way. I, I've And I've used the ones that you can get like that are off brand that are a dollar. I've used the SE ones that are eight to $10. But you can also get those at Dollar Tree a lot for a buck. I've used some of them for like 10 bucks that were at Kohl's. I, I don't remember what brands they were. But they're, I would never pay $10 for anything like this. And I don't purchase these on a regular basis. I have a basket full of nail wraps. So I don't know if they'll ever even get used. I might give them to my sister. But that is $12. Get a full mani with these nail wraps in less than 10 minutes. Find the wrap that best fits your cuticle and place the round edges of the wrap against it. Stretch and smooth the wrap down from the nail base to the tip. File the excess down and apply a top coat. Um, so, yeah, I mean, maybe, maybe not. There. I have ones that are more my style, like cheetah point and neons and glitters and stuff. So this will probably be the very last one that I would ever use. 
I might give it away. I might try to repackage this up. I might just give it to my sister or something. Um, the next thing I have right here is another Versace brush. It's a foundation brush. Let me see. Um, it's full size. It's $32. It does feel nice. I will give them that. It does feel nice. It's, it's a soft one. I had another one. I just, my sister came over and cleaned me out of a bunch of brushes. I was going to do a declutter video, but I don't, I'm not doing that now because she went ahead. My glasses are big. She went ahead and decluttered me for me, and um, we went through everything. So I gave, I knew I was getting one of these, so I just went ahead and gave her my old one. Um, these are really good for, like, concealer, like, patting in your concealer and blending it out. And they're also really good for, like, masks, like, pasting your mask. And I don't like to rub masks in, like, mud masks and clay masks with my hands. So this will get used. Um, $32 is really expensive for a brush for me. But hey, that's just me. Um, but it is a nice quality, so that's why I went ahead and decided I'd keep this one. Next thing we have is an added bonus. This is Kardashian Beauty Black Seed Dry Oil. It's a travel size bonus item. There is no price on it. I have never seen Kardashian Beauty in boxes before, so that's kind of cool to try it. I do not like the Kardashians, but I, I've never tried their cosmetics and beauties products so we'll see a nutrient rich treatment and styling aid that rejuvenates and nourishes hair so it appears strong thick smooth and gloriously shiny apply a small amount into palms and distribute evenly on damp hair prior to blow drying or um, styling or use to smooth frizz at roots and ends or to add shine to dry hair now i saw somebody else they i'm not going to open it i have so many oils already that if i don't ever get to it you know, if I don't get to it in a couple months, I'll probably pass it on. So I don't want to open it, but somebody said it is very dry. So it's not going to leave you, like, completely oiled out and greasy and that it smelled really good. So I'm going to take their word for it. I'm not going to open it right now, though. Okay. And then the next thing we're going to do is Chella um, Eyebrow Defining Gel. It's just a clear gel. Oh, I guess that would help if I take the plastic off, right? I should have did that prior to, and I did not. Usually most of the stuff doesn't come, like, wrapped in cellophane in here. So, there we go. It's just a clear brow gel. There's just, you can't even see, it's just where you can see, like, the end is blue and clear. Um, I have some cello stuff already. I have, like, a highlighter and something else. So, <clears throat> I do like them, so I am excited to use this. This is full size. This is $18. Just apply it to your brow in an upward stroke. I'm currently using, it's kind of gross because it's got the coloring from my brow products in there. But I'm using the Wet n Wild Mega Clear. The Mega Clear Brow Gel. It's actually supposed to be like mascara, but it's the same thing. I don't use clear mascara. It's just a big wand, just clear brow gel. It's the same thing. Um, so this will get used after that's done. The next thing is, um, provides, um, skin types one through six, hydro milk hydrating lotion. It's full size. This thing is 48 bucks. It is two ounces. So that is a lot of face moisturizer. Nourish and moisturize your skin with provide skin care hydro milk, which contains natural ingredients to help improve skin's hydration and fight free radicals. Apply it daily to the palms of your hands, gently massage in a circular motion onto face and down your neck. Um, I have tried this. <coughs> this possibly might be one of the things that broke me out. I don't know yet. We're going to try it again, but I'm going to try it without the other product that I use and see if I break out again from it. We're also coming up to the monthly time, so that might be my hormones might be messed up. But it has like algae extract, fennel, um, Apricot, glycerin, cocoa seeds, butter. There's all, all kinds of good stuff that I'm recognizing, and here's a whole list of stuff on the back. So, but $48, I, even if I'm not allergic to it, I would never spend $48 on a moisturizer because I don't have that kind of money. So, but I mean, it, it is nice. It is silky. What does it smell like? I can't remember. 
I have so many creams on me by the time this video goes up. I remember liking them. It's got a herbally medicinal smell to it too. I remember that. I do like it though. It smells very clean and herbally and I do like that. Okay, and the last but not least, this was something I was super excited about. Um, tart skinny smolder eyes. I know some people got the the thick smolder eyes and some people got the skinny ones. Everybody got different colors. This is full size, um, nineteen dollars. This is the skinny version of the smolder eyes waterproof line there. Amazon it says on Amazon clay waterproof line. It's a liner. Create smoldering, sultry eyes or doe eyed and awakened eyes with these Amazonian clay infused liners. Gently pull outward on outer <clears throat> eye corner and glide tip along upper and lower lash line for a crisp line look. Or use the smudger end of the pencil to soften the line for sultry smoke. Smoky eye. Use liner as a shadow as well. So we have our smudger on the end. I don't I don't think I've ever really used the this one feels like a nice one though. I don't really use the smudgers so much. It's a gorgeous green. Let me see what the name is on here. It's called Emerald. Pretty typical. That's what it is. It's an emerald green. It's so creamy though. Like I just did like one swipe and used like half of it if off of it already. <laughs> but it is gorgeous. So I do like that. I'm happy. Green is my favorite color, so I'm excited. It is super pigmented. Like I have other emerald green ones like this one with the smudger on there from Wet and Wild. I'm gonna just show you. And I had to go over that. They went over this line three times with it, and you can just see the difference in the pigmentation. $3 versus 19 but you know. Okay, so that's it for the boxy charm. Next we're gonna do our, our my Tom box. Right. Here they come on this And here as always, I just pull it on out. I have gone through this, I, I check it, I got it a couple days ago. They used to send them in a gold gold mailer. They sent it in a black. So when I opened my mailbox, I didn't even know it had shipped me. When I opened my mailbox, I was like, what is that? Why is there black? I have stuff coming from China right now for Christmas presents. I'm like, somebody sent me a black bubble mailer. Hey, it's time box. Okay, so they're going to start. Um, for October, they'll start sending the chocolate again. There's something about a chocolate-covered potato chip is what I'm hearing rumors of. Uh, I don't know. I'm not going to knock it till I try it, but I guess the whole chocolate potato chip, sweet, salty thing. But because it's still warm outside, they still, they didn't send a makeup brush this month, but they sent an Essler um, introductory collection. You get the Soothing Refiner and Cleanser Botanical Peeling, the Soothing Refiner and Cleanser one, is one product. Botanical Peeling Gel, which if you remember BoxyCharm from like two months ago, it's in a container like this. It's a huge jar. It's like a face peel. Oh, wait, that's the chlorophyll lifting mask. They sent a sample of that in here, too. And then the Firming Collagen Day Cream. So I already have one of these jars, uh, like a full-size jar of the mask. So, I mean, they're just little foil packets in here. So that'll be nice to try. And then let's go on to the jewelry. Um, I don't remember which one is double and which one's regular. But there's a pretty, like, little bracelet and it says live the life you love learn from yesterday live for today hope for tomorrow and then it has a little heart and two little tiny i didn't notice that before two little tiny stones on it i actually really like this bracelet so that's very nice the necklace i was curious you could get one of two necklaces i have this beautiful gold one that had like a little teal um this is like one of those turquoise like beads and then like it hangs down and there's like a little feather so it's like a little native american necklace and i really wanted that one and i got this one instead it keeps tangling up it's cute but it just keeps tangling so bad it's they call this the bar necklace it has three layers to it the first one just has like little beads on it i don't know if you can see that this is kind of hard to show you Okay, let's do it like this. 
anything if you just tie one up. If it's one necklace, okay, it's got little light tiny gold beads on it. And then the next layer has the little triangle on it. And then the next layer has just a little bar hanging. I'm going to set this aside very gently so that I can just hang it up immediately in the jewelry box. Because that thing is tangled up so many times I almost threw it away when I first opened the box just because I was like, this is, it's going to break. So I got it to untangle, but I was like, that, maybe they need like a different packaging for a necklace like that. Okay, the next thing we have is called, oh, this is like really liquid. Um, Evolve H. Luxury hair care system, uh, smart start leave-in conditioner. It protects, it's no frizz, shine, and manageability. Paraben-free, gluten-free, and vegan. 95% natural and organic ingredients for the healthiest hair you can have. Um, it looks like this, it's a little spray bottle. It's two ounces. Lightweight water-based formula is made with raw lecithin. L-E-C-I-T-H-I-N, I I've never heard of that. A powerful natural extract to fortify weak strands and prevent breakage. A duo of rice bran and cumin seed oil guards against heat and UV damage, while bergamot fruit oil softens and detangles and prevents flyaway. Directions, shake it up, spritz a generous amount evenly through clean towel dried hair, let it sink in and work its magic before styling. Bonus, it can also be applied to dry hair to refresh lifeless locks. I don't know how much this is because they don't give you a card to go with it. And I've never heard of the brand and I probably should look it up, but I'll have my phone in here. But I'll try it. I'm all about leave-in conditioners and I'm all about trying to get rid of this frizz. Today I am pouring sweat and I'm hot and my hair is just like, ooh. Rah. Okay, and then we have a little like sample size of a lobby, LOV body butter. This is just six ingredients, vanilla. You know what, let me just, hold on. Let me smell this. I'm just curious. Oh, it's very clean and fresh. I mean, I like this smell. This smells good. Um, this is vanilla body butter. Apply all over, keep in a cool place. Use within a year. Macadamia nut oil, coconut oil, shea butter, vanilla, vanilla bourbon, non-GMO cornstarch, and marula oil. It smells like vanilla vanilla cream like inside of a cookie or something. It smells very good. That'll get used up quick in my house. Um, the next thing we have here is Suds Bath and Body All Natural Handmade Lavender Chamomile Foaming Bath Salt. It says Suds Responsibly. Draw a warm bath, sprinkle one uh, tube of bath salt into the water directly under running faucet just after getting in the tub. Sit back, relax, and enjoy. And it's got sea salt from the Dead Sea, European Sea, and Pacific Solar. Denturic salt, lathanol, essential oils, which are lavender and chamomile, jojoba oil, um, and then it's Suds Bath and Body is the brand. I'm not going to open this right now. I don't have a bathtub. I have a stand-in, like, shower stall. So I will use this, like, I have this little, like, blow-up tub for my feet that I will like probably just pour a little bit out of a time in there and soak my feet. So, but it will be used. Next thing, the video is already 23 minutes long, holy crap. Model Co, I really like that brand. Um, lip Enhancer Illusion Lip Liner. Create the perfect lip silhouette. Um, it's just a lip liner. They're getting fancy with it, but it has this hot pink end on it. And when I first opened it to see if it had melted or anything, it, I was like, they gave me a hot pink. I'm like, okay, I got some hot pink lipsticks. So, um, this is called Illusion Nude Lip Liner. It's got the little, like, pencil on it. I know Model Coat was, like, a little expensive, but I don't know how much it's going to, when you open it, it's, like, this brown nude color. I was expecting hot pink. So, we're going to swatch it next to this nude traced lip pencil. Here, it's right here. Actually, I could line my lips with this and use the new brand from Trady Speak and Ipsy for it. But I have a lot of lipsticks that are like a nude color like this. So this will work well for me. And I don't have a lip liner like this. I have a hot pink, a purple, like a taupe, a dark, dusty rose, and a light baby pink. So this is nice. Okay, two more items. 
I'm working on it. <laughs> um, we got a Hikari mascara and jet. I have a lot of Hikari between Tombox and Ipsy. I have so many Hikari products. Like, it is insane. Okay. So it's just in the black tube. Um, just has the ingredients on there. And there's such a car. I don't know if it's supposed to volumize. There's no information on it. It's just got a basic brush wand, which these are my favorite kind of wands. I don't like the rubber bristles. Um, it's going to stay in its little box here because I have so many mascaras I have to use up. I just swiped like five of them and I still have a basket full of unused mascara. So the next thing is Medusa's Makeup Cruelty Free Lip Gloss. I have. Hold on. Okay, sorry about that. I already have one in Temptation, and I really like it. I got that in a Lit Monthly bag. Yeah, Lit Monthly had Hikari in there a lot, too, so. Oh, I guess I'll be filming Lit Monthly in here. They wanted to have sent me a box this month, even though they were not supposed to. And then emailed me. I emailed them, and they acted, whatever. Um, this one is in Space Invader that I just got. It's this bright red, and it has, like, those orange flaky glitters. Like, it's pretty clear. It's got just the lightest little, like, pink tinge to it. When it goes on your lips, I'm assuming it'll be completely clear with just a little hint of glitter. The Temptation one that I got before is a little more pigmented. It's like a crimson-y, brick red gloss. The furthest one over. So these glosses are pretty glossy. I do like them a lot. They're not sticky. They're pretty glossy, but they don't um they don't have a whole lot of pigmentation. Alright, let me find we'll do this real quick too while we're just doing everything. I know at the beginning of my channel I said I wasn't going to <coughs> group all of my unboxing videos together. But now that I have Comcast and I have like the cheapest one, the uploading speed is ridiculous. So to upload each individual video, it was like three hours. So I figured I'd just make one big video, upload it all together, and just be done. So I don't have to do it like four different times. It'll take it'll take forever, but this is what the bag looks like. So update with Lit Monthly. <clears throat> they didn't send me, they finally sent me a July bag, and then they sent me two of them. And then I still had not gotten an August bag. And they're like, send, they, I think they sent it to my old address. And then it got forwarded here. I never got shipping notices for the two July bags that they sent out. And I never received an August bag. And then magically, I got a September bag in the mail uh, last week, this last week. With my correct address on it, it was not forwarded. And I emailed them. Because I had already emailed them before and said, my bank, you know, my bank refunded me. You can deal with them now. I canceled my subscription. You know, have fun. Bye. And then I emailed them back. And when I got this bag, and I was like, why did you send me another bag? And, like, the lady acted like she had no idea, like, what was going on. Even though my email should be linked. And I was like, you guys have deleted me off of Facebook. And they're like, we don't delete our Facebook comments. We don't do we don't block people from Facebook. And I was like, well you did. So um that was just a straight up lie. She's like, well if your bunny's already refunded you, we'll take you off the shipping list. And I'm like, you already told me I wasn't on your shipping list, which is why I didn't receive any of my stuff before. So this is my last this is my absolute last one. The bag is super cute. I will keep it. I do like it. But at this point I'm just the products aren't bad, but I'm just so over lip monthly that I just can't stand them. So we got September 2015. It says the retail value is $61.95. We're going to dig in. Now this is what irritates me. This is the Anoya Gloss. This is $6. And you can get, there's a 20% off coupon. There's just available in these juicy colors on the back. And let me wipe these swatches off so I can swatch all these lip products for you. Ooh, tart. Does not want to come off, which is good. Oh, it's waterproof. But this is a makeup remover. Oops. Okay. My hand off. So, what it looks like is this. It's this. It's like literally two inches. Yeah, I'd give it like two, two and a half inches tall. 
and this is supposed to be six dollars for this sample. Okay, this is called summertime peach. It has no smell. I mean, it is pretty pigmented, but you can't even get like that many uses out there. I can probably use this maybe like seven or eight times. So it's right there. It is pretty. It is nice. The price is killing me, and the fact that it's a sample size for six dollars. I said it before. Lit Monthly lies about their prices. I can get one of these for free somewhere. I bet you, if I got on the website, I could probably get a free one. So that irritates me a little bit, but last lip monthly box, so I guess it doesn't matter, right? All right, then we got woo, jelly pom pom, which is I think they go in they coincide with um so Susan because you get a so Susan box every month. Um, I've looked it up; it's expensive, but it's usually jelly pom pom and so excuse me, so Susan products. I got like a hiccup coming up. This is $17.95. It's a highlighting pen. I have a cello one that's just like it, but this I can't highlight with. It is way, way too dark for me to highlight. It's like this bright peach color. So I'm thinking about using it as, my light is not doing so good. I'm thinking about using it as like a, uh, an eye base because it is super creamy and kind of blendable and I think shadows would stick to it pretty well. So I'll use it as like an eye cram, but it's not going to highlight for me. It's just way too peachy. Um, it's supposed to be like one of those brow bone highlighters. The cello one is a lot lighter than that. So then I have the Jing Eye Velvet Crayon. I have one of these already in a red. This is a pink, this one's called Pink Star. It's a very pretty nude color. It doesn't have like shimmer. No, it doesn't, it's glossy, but it doesn't have like any shimmer or glitter in it. It's a very pretty pink color. It looks a little bit brighter, but it's still kind of like on the nude side. It's picking up brighter on the camera. It's really not that bright. And these are very creamy. I do like them. And then last but not least, we have Via Bombshell Crayon. I also have another one of these in a bright baby pink. This one is called Shameless. Yeah, it's just a twist of crayon, and it's a darker. They're very similar. Actually, the shades are almost spot on. This one has just a, a little bit of shimmer. It's not really even that. You can't even really tell. It's just a couple, maybe like half a shade lighter. I mean, darker. On camera, it looks a lot darker, but in person, it looks maybe half a shade. So, we've got pretty much extremely similar colors. I'm going to keep both. Um, so this said it was $61.95 for the retail of the bag. You've got one sample size and a highlighting crayon, which is pretty small. It doesn't say if it's full size or not. And then, like, two lip crayons. So I don't think they're right on the price point. Maybe I'm wrong. But that will be my absolute last lip monthly bag. All right. Thank you guys for watching. And I know that was a long video, but we're just going to have to do them that way. Sorry about it, but I I can't keep doing them individually with my internet. They want me to upgrade, but it's like twenty dollars a month more, and I'm just not doing it. So um, from now on, we're just gonna do. I'm gonna save as many as I can and do at least two to three in a video. That way, you know, I'm just uploading one video, two videos a month for the unboxing versus five or whatever. I know I have a couple other st other things coming in. So, um, but that's it for today. Thanks for watching.